Hi, in this short video, we're going to show you how to completely uninstall Roots Magic from your Mac and then reinstall it. We've had a number of reports of people upgrading their Mac operating system to High Sierra and then Roots Magic uh, stops working. It starts get generating a, a kind of a cryptic error when you try to start. And so in order to get around this, you basically need to uninstall Roots Magic and then reinstall it. But it's not as simple as just dragging your Roots Magic icon or shortcut to the trash bin. There's some other pieces of, uh, of data and parts of the program uh, that are a little bit tougher to find and those have to be uninstalled as well or removed as well. And so we're going to show you exactly how to do that. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have a backup of any of your Roots Magic databases. This shouldn't affect your databases, but it's never a bad idea to have backups of your data anyways. So once you've done that, you then want to get rid of any Roots Magic DMG files. Those are like your install files. So what you're going to do is go into Finder and go into your downloads right here. And in your downloads, what you'll want to do is look and see if there are any files that are called something like rootsmagic7mac.dmg. What that is, is that's the actual file you would have downloaded previously. And we want to get rid of that to make sure that when we uninstall and then reinstall that we aren't accidentally installing the old version uh, over again. So just select that and then just click and drag that down to your trash bin. And now we're good to go. We've gotten rid of that rootsmagic.dmg file. So we can go ahead and, uh, and you can close full finder, except let's go ahead and keep it open because we need it right now. The next step is to remove the actual application, the actual rootsmagic file. So you're going to go into your applications and you're gonna scroll down until you find the Roots Magic program. This is the installed Roots Magic program. You're going to click on that and drag that to the trash bin. Okay, so that removes the Roots Magic part of it, but there's still a couple of other pieces that we need to get rid of. So once you've done that, we're gonna go up to the Go menu for Finder. We're still staying in Finder. We're gonna do Go, and then come down here to Go to Folder. And the folder we want to go to is this. And so I'm just going to let this sit here for a second so that you have a chance to look at it and write it down or type it in if you're doing this as you go along. But the folder you want to go to is tilde slash library slash application support. And there's a space between application and support. So just like that. Okay. Once you've entered that in, you're going to click on Go, and your Mac is going to go to that particular folder. Once you're in that folder, scroll down until you see a Roots Magic folder. What you're going to do is you're going to click on that Roots Magic folder, and then you're going to click and drag that folder to the trash bin. Okay, just like you've done with the others. Okay. Now, there's one last thing we need to get rid of, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click on Go, and then Go to Folder, just like we did before. This time, instead of Application Support, we still want it to be in the tilde slash library folder, but this time, we want it Preferences. So tilde slash library slash Preferences. Okay, we're going to click on Go. Okay, and we're going to go down and try to see if there's a file called com. They're going to all start with com. But you're going to go down here to com.rootsmagic. Right here, this one right here. com.rootsmagic.rootsmagic.plist. And you're going to highlight that one. And you're going to, like we've done before, click and drag that down to the trash bin. Okay, so now we have basically uh, gotten rid of Roots Magic off of our off of our computer. Um, if you happen to have 
a shortcut icon for Roots Magic still sitting on your desktop or or on your bar right here, you can click and drag that down to the trash bin as well. I don't have that here, uh, but if if you do, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, and that's all you need to do to uninstall Roots Magic from your Mac. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into Safari. You can go into whichever uh, browser you happen to use, and we're going to go download Roots Magic. So we're going to go to http colon slash slash rootsmagic.com slash download. And I'm going to select that, and, I'm and I want to download Roots Magic 7. So I'm going to click download, and the one I want is the one for the Mac. These upper ones are for Windows. This is the one for the Mac. So I'm going to click on that to begin downloading Roots Magic for the Mac. Okay, and in Safari, I can see the progress right here. If I was using something else like Chrome, it's going to work a little bit different. Chrome is going to show you the progress of the download down in the in the status bar. But whichever browser you use, hopefully you're familiar with how it works to download files. And so we're going to finish downloading this file. And then once it's downloaded, we can click on that right there. And we can see here's the file we just downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And now it's opening that file. It's going to be verifying that file. And it's going to come up and ask you to drag this. So I'm just going to drag that Roots Magic icon over to the folder. And now it's copying the Roots Magic out of the installer and onto your Mac. Okay, once that's done, I can just double click on Roots Magic and it will start to load. And once it has finished verifying it, making sure it's uh, the right program and that it's clean and everything, uh, it will pop up the uh, the window to actually start using. It's an application downloaded. Yes, I want to open that. And once it's open, it's going to take you to the screen where you uh, can enter your registration key. So that is one thing. When you uninstall and do all of and uninstall these other pieces, you will need to reinstall uh, or re-enter your registration key. So if you have your registration key, you just type it in. If you don't have your registration key, uh, you can actually go to our website right here. You can go to our Roots Magic website right here and go into support and request a lost product key. And when you do that, you'll, you'll enter the email that you used when you uh, ordered the program, click request, and our system will email your registration key to you. And there we go. There, so you're, it's going to come up, ask you uh, if you want the full registered version or use the free version. Uh, if you were using the free version, then obviously that's what the option you'd select. But if you've, if you've ordered it, you say the full registered version, enter your name and that registration key we just talked about and unlock it and you're, you're good to go. So that's, that's what, what's involved in uh, doing a complete uninstall of Roots Magic from your Mac and doing a reinstall. Um, and at that point, you will be up, up to date with the latest version. Thanks for joining us.